Finger pistols. Texans versus Steelers preseason game part two. We're going to tell y'all what to look for. What we expect to see from the game, baby. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's go. go. I feel good, Omar. The the theme music just hit a little different. Today. It just like just hit a little different. It's game day. Yeah. Yeah, game exactly. Day, baby. Exactly. It's game day. It's game it's plus. All game you, day. It's game day, bro. Plus, you rocking a badass shirt, Omar. You rocking a bad one, bro. You Let's got a go. bad one on. Come you on, get one. You want to get one? I'll show you. Where you I got one. one coming. I got one coming. I got Boom, one baby. Coming. And look, if look, you watching this, you want one, you can get one too. Right there. That shit looks amazing. So it's yeah, one thing to see good. it on the image, right? But it's another yeah. thing to see it on a person. Dog, yeah. I ain't gonna lie on one. You never look better, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's <laughs> high quality t-shirt, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's, they say that it's not the it's not the clothes that make the man, it's the man that makes the clothes. I don't know, bro. This shirt's kind of you know what I'm saying, kind of doing it for me right now. You know, you're what rocking I mean? that, bro. You're making that look and then good. on top That's of that, we, you know, the, yeah, Dal Dalton Schultz, you know, was coming out in, in his version of this with you know, I know. Say, like we're all in great the same minds think alike, like, right? Great minds think alike, right? You know, I can't That's be it. I can't be mad at somebody else uh rock rocking the shirt. But uh, we the originals, we the originators, baby. Uh, obviously, we can't take credit for the moment. No, 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 we can't. Dre made the boy Dre made the moment. We just, you know, uh, what do you call immortalizing him? Immortalizing, on, it. yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On our, on our chest, man. So you, you know, know what? Another thing too, the the little shout out, a little throwback to the Love You Blue era, right? Of course, of That's, course. You, that, that was a great touch on your end, man. And uh, no, nah, man, just really good. You know how. You never really know when you're you know selling stuff, especially through these you know like these these um you know automated print print services and stuff like that. I'm always a little skeptical yeah. about how the you know how, how it's gonna feel. And nah, man, this thing's perfect, dude. It's perfect. Yeah, it looks perfect. great. Came yeah. out pretty good, we, man. We definitely I definitely want to pick one up. Be top notch. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Top notch quality, man. Um, yeah. Hit the link in the description. Uh, we'll, we'll have that link in there. Obviously, get on that. Um. Yo, you know what it is. You're rocking with the Bull Run Sports, most entertaining channel for the Houston Texans on the web. Yep. Man, help us get to a thousand subs. Please hit that that subscribe button, hit the like button. Yo, our videos have been doing great, man. We love the engagement. We love when you guys reach out to us. Obviously, you see, we try to reply to everybody in the comments, man. Uh, we're gonna go live for the game, obviously. Right. So you'll be able to engage with us live. You know, hit us up in the right. comment section for that. Uh, but for right now. Comment on this, man. We'll we'll get back at you. But um, what's up, yeah, man? Gonna, the, plan, the plans to go live right right after the game, after post game. game. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and so we could we can kind of talk about it. Um, and yeah, uh, by now, actually, as you guys are listening to this, uh, we should have the live stream already set up for you guys to go in there, click on it, and set the reminder. But you really shouldn't have to do that because you should already be subscribed and you should already have the reminder bell set and you already. should have already gotten the notification. Already. But if you haven't, I'm not mad at you. You're probably new here. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and jump in there because it's already set up and uh, come join us tonight. We're going to be talking some shit and I'll probably, it's going to be Friday night. So I'll probably have, we're going to have some drinks on this dog. An adult beverage mixed in already. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I have Absolutely. to check the rules on that from a monetizing standpoint, but what, uh, bro? It ain't no rules against like having an adult beverage. We adults. It's for us. Is it? We adults, bro. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I you're mean, right. It ain't like we getting on a baby shark stream and like pouring it up, pouring champagne bottle on hoes <laughs> like it's the big pimping video. <laughs> <laughs> baby shark dude, dude, dude. What, a, what a classic video, huh? <laughs> In Brazil, during Carnival, just it was, yeah, it was great. Yeah, anyway, nah. but yeah, all right. Pick up your shirts, folks. Links in the description. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. And yeah, you know how to, you know how YouTube works. Um, let's get into these Texans, bro. What do we expect now? Obviously, the city's a buzz. We hype because the starters are going to play. Right. But Omar, yeah. what starters are you expecting to see, brother? What starters, you know, and how for just, how long? Yeah, yeah. So here's 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 my expectation. Now, obviously, we got a couple of uh, starters that are listed on the injury reports. We just did the video yep. on this yesterday that we released. 
Um, Joe Mixon is questionable. Stefan Diggs is now listed as questionable yep. on the depth chart on ESPN's yep. depth chart. Uh, on the and that's that's it for the for the offensive side, but on the defensive side, Will Anderson Jr. also listed as questionable. Uh, Christian Harris listed as questionable, and Kamari Lasseter listed as questionable. That is a significant amount of both our offensive and defensive firepower listed as questionable. And if I had yeah. to put money on it right now, I would say that neither of those brothers are going to be on the field tomorrow or, or, or today for the game yeah. uh, simply because this is essentially our first preseason game, right? Because, I mean, the last one yeah. was kind of extra, right? It's kind of a gimme. Kind Absolutely. Of a and so um, I honestly don't think that we're going to see any of those folks that are listed as questionable. Because what it's going to do, it's going to give also an opportunity for, especially like a Diggs or a Mixon, right? Um, we we already know what those guys can do when they're yeah healthy, right? Um, they went to Ball So Hard University, bro. Exactly. They know they ball hard. Yeah, they got PhDs from Ball So Hard University. Yeah. Shout out to uh, T Sizzle, Ball Hard University. That's, yeah. that's Ravens. That's that, those are my guys. Anyway, um, but so I think it's it's going to be a good opportunity, you know, for Dare. For Damian Pierce, you're a big Dare guy, man. I'm big. I like that dog. Big Dare guy. The, the reason why I like it so much is because he did so well. Now, obviously, he's against you know he's going against third stringers, and so now I would like for him to 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 kind of jump up and let's get some let's get some reps with the first team. Let's get out there and let's see what he can do this week, and 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 see if he performs the same. Because if Continue he has third. another good night, he might get jumped up in front of Mister Pierce. Hey, so that's a good point, man. Let's 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 start at the top. Let's start at the top of the depth chart, right? Okay. Number seven. Yeah. We're excited to see seven. You know, for sure. He's the guy, he's the straw that stirs the drink. So we're expecting to see seven, I would say, for a series. If he goes out there and kind of checks all the boxes, right? Because these preseason games is condensed. We had the extra game, but obviously right. seven wasn't out there. This is the time right. where coaches the office of coordinators you know everybody kind of want to see is the communication right is everything flowing do the right, right situations come up is there a third down is there you know goal line situation blah 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 so on and so forth so if there's like a turnover or something like that god forbid um then you might see the cj come out for it for another series or right if there's not a third down situation if there's not a goal line situation so on and so forth then he may come out for for another series or so right so right. Um, we're excited to see seven, you know, we're excited to see seven sure. get out there and, uh, and, and take command of the offense, see what he can do. Um, you brought up a really good point at the running back position. So our guy, Joe Mixon, he's not going to be out there, you know, no. uh, you know, he's not going to be out there. So that's putting Mr. Damian Pierce in the driver's seat for the first team reps, because he right. is essentially the, the backup running back i personally right. don't think that dara is gonna compete for him for those reps i think that that dame is kind of solidified and i'll be honest with you omar i this is a secret but i've kind of been in the uh, fuck damian pierce camp only because and this is personal i went high on him in last year's mm. fantasy draft bro mm. uh he you was burned he, <laughs> i got burnt bro <laughs> i've I fit in. <laughs> I fit. Yeah. In, I fit into the hype, man. Everybody was like, "Yo, Damian Pierce had a great rookie season. Uh, you know, he's gonna come in here with another year under his belt. You know, CJ Stroud at quarterback and having the stellar season. Uh, right. It, it just didn't happen like that, bro. And, and the uh, sophomore slump hit him. I, I, the sophomore slump hit him, man. And I spent some draft capital going up to to get him i took him in the third round of the, of the fantasy Yo. dog he was slated for a late fourth rounder like high fifth round and i was like no i'm gonna get my guy yeah and, that's uh, he got me bro <laughs> <laughs> he got me so i've so been like personal. you know what it's personal i think his hair is stupid <laughs> hair stupid as shit so um, <laughs> and that's that's a personal dig too right <laughs> It's a little jealousy that, in there as well. That's what like, I was gonna say, bro. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean. What's, what's, you know, it's, it's it's odd that you attack the hair. You know what I mean? It's like 
it's, but it's, it's everybody a with a great head of yeah. hair, man, and that <laughs> that ain't struggling with male, male pattern baldness. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. That's nah, so yeah, Dame Dame gonna get those uh those those reps set at at running back. The big ticket question though, bro, and you brought it up. You brought it up earlier. Are we gonna see the three headed monster out there with CJ Stroud? You know, wow. is Diggs, is Nico, is Tank gonna be on the field uh together at the same time? Yeah. It, it, but a wide receiver core. Now, the reason why Steph is banged up is because he took a shot from uh from Jimmy Ward in Tuesday practice. Uh so he wasn't really in the activities on Wednesday. But as we talked about, man, we we quick to hit hit the panic button over here when it comes to injuries, but realistically. It's preseason. It's training camp. We're still a month away. If he doesn't play in the game tomorrow, obviously it's not the end of the world. The boy can ball. We know what he can do. Right. Um, but but coming off a little stinger that that Jimmy Ward gave him, we may not we may not see it as much as much as we want to see him. We may not see him tomorrow. I mean, we may yeah. not see him uh, uh, run tonight. So first of all, I need Jimmy Ward to take several seats. He's getting a little <laughs> too aggressive out there. Somebody needs to pull that young man to the side and say, "Listen, buddy, okay, we get You're like it. I'm always hurt. I'm gonna hurt y'all. <laughs> That's right. We get it. All right, we get it. We want to make sure that you understand that you're guaranteed a roster spot. You don't need to go taking people's heads off in training <laughs> camp, ex- especially, especially our guys, our starters, yeah, especially our, our, our stars. stars. Exactly. Yeah. Like, hey." Take it easy. Okay. And you know what? The, the other thing I was thinking about too is maybe Jim, maybe he's just taking liberties against Diggs because Diggs is only signed for a one year deal, technically. Right. Like he <laughs> like it's a very favorable deal. So Jimmy's like, fuck it. I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna make my name off of him. He's only here for right. a year. You know, whatever. You know? <laughs> it's like, yeah, exactly. You know, take his head off, you know. What a ridiculous um, thing to do if you're Jimmy. I know that's so stupid. But uh, as far as the three-headed monster, man, as much as I would love to see those three guys out there, Diggs, Collins, and uh, and Dell, um, I just I, I don't I, I, it doesn't make any sense, right? Like, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> n- n- you know what I'm doing now more than ever that I, that I've never been able to do before in the history of my fandom for the Houston Texans is actually like use logical thinking when it comes to like front <laughs> office moves, right? Like, because the logical yeah. thing would tell you is that if your guys are injured or even slightly injured, like even just like maybe not ready, maybe, you know what I mean? Like something like, again, we talk about the soft tissue stuff, right? Just sit them. It's no big deal, right? That's the logical thing to do, right? And so luckily now we have a very logical. Growing up. They're growing up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) And so it's, it's, um, you know, again, logic will tell you that they, they won't, they won't uh, put digs out there or mixing out there. Now, Collins and Dell, they're healthy. Oh yeah, they. Yeah. I think they're gonna so, go. I think they're we're gonna, gonna see go. we're gonna see some of twelve out there doing his thing. He's fresh off of that fat contract, and by all intents and purposes, everybody in camp's talking about that contract hasn't really changed him. He's hungrier than ever. Good. So that's what you yeah, that's what you want to hear. That's, that's what, what you, you want to hear. hear exactly. So yeah, man. I mean, as long as I mean, we could call it like a two and a half headed monster because I kind of want to see Schultz out there too, doing his thing. Yeah. Um, so that that brings up the tight end position. Good segue, man. Um, obviously, eighty six is going to be out there. Yep. Somebody that that I've heard that um, may not be out there. Uh, shout out to uh, Cody Stutes. Uh, check out Cody Stutes, man, on on Twitter, his page. Um, he's a good reliable source. Brevin Jordan may not be out there, Omar. So that's going to give the big corn fed bread boy. CJ's boy, Kate Stover, yeah, Kate Stover. Uh, some more shine. So, it, you know, you, you, you'll you have Schultz and Col- uh, Stover on the field at the same time, you know, playing um, the both tight end positions, give you that two-headed monster at the tight end position like, you know, like the Gronk and, and Hernandez, the, the the greatest tight end duo to ever do it, bro. Them boys right. was killers yeah. on the field uh, for, for the Patriots, one of, one of them really was a killer, but all right. Was, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of them was for real a killer <laughs> he was a gangster gangster a what's interesting guys, about that man. is with with brevin jordan being out um i, I didn't know that actually you're hitting me with and, and tegan uh, quaturiano yeah quaturiano was hurt 
Also, he's still right? yeah, yeah. So so that's what I'm saying. Stover is going, bro. Stover obviously not not only is he going to run with the starters, but he's going to be playing a lot with Davis yeah. Mills. He's yeah. going to get a lot of play tomorrow. We're yeah. going to get a real good look at him. Uh, that's tomorrow. exactly what I was I about mean, to say. Uh, I think tonight, this yeah. is going to be his opportunity. It's going to be his night to go out and showcase, you know, what he can do and 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 uh, you know potentially take that second spot, especially if if Jordan's in in a in an injury situation. So yeah. Um, Tunsil no longer listed as questionable. I think he at one point he, he was questionable at one point, but you don't think he's he gonna play gonna, at all? No, 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 no. And he's you know he's one of those guys. Like why? You know why would why would you put him out there? Tunsil's Tunsil's not gonna be out there. That's true. Now yeah. you know it's it's one of those things, right? Like we we talked about last episode. If TJ Watt is out there, then you're like, you know, mm. like it's concerning. You don't you don't you don't want TJ Watt seeing right. off. On 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 seven, right, uh, right. But you know, at the same time, man, these soft tissue injuries, these little injuries, you know, you you don't want a guy like Tunsil just running out there yeah. for no reason. I think CJ can take care of himself, man. Give the give the kid uh, uh Blake Fisher some run. Um, yeah, Fisher some run. The line? Sharp, um, uh, David Sharp behind Tunsil, behind Fisher, yeah. Uh, Kenyon Green, Scruggs, Mason, and Howard. I think Titus Howard was also listed with something soft yeah, tissue. He's not, he had missed a couple of he's not going to play practices or something like that. Yeah. So, but then yeah. uh, so 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 if Titus isn't playing, Heck is hurt. That just leaves Irving. Charlie Heck is hurt. So, so uh, Broker Broker is gonna gonna end up being filling that role uh, okay. at right tackle. Okay. So they'll move him so, from right guard to right tackle. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah we'll we'll see Broker out there instead of uh, Cameron Irving. Um, so yeah, we'll roll out um, Blake Fisher, Kenyon Green, Drew Scruggs, Zach Mason, and uh, Nick Broker. Uh, uh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the O line, man. And and I'm mean, perfect segue, bro. We're perfect general with so much. You know, pat on the back to us. Uh, <laughs> but one of the things that I'm looking forward to seeing because, like I said, I'm a football nerd. You're not gonna see a bunch of like of the the fancy butterfly plays and shit like that that, mm. that we know slow it got up his sleeve right he just itching to get these plays out <laughs> but it's gonna be real vanilla uh right. during the game right. so like I say it's beautiful the the stunts that they run on the offensive line you know and that's really what I want to see from Damian Pierce tonight I want to mm. see how if 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 he's learned how to run in this own scheme because it's the mm. same scheme. It's the same scheme, Omar, that, you know, we ran back in the in 2010, 2011, uh, 2012 days with Kubiak, you know, and, in in this own running scheme that, that, that Arian Foster benefited Arian, from so yeah. much, man. And people talk shit. It was like, oh, man, you could just plug any Anybody. running back in, in, yeah, into yeah, yeah. this and, and let them run, run through the holes that these, uh, you know that 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 this, this yeah system is running through for. the hole is one thing, right? It's the yards after contact that Aaron that, was such an absolute bro. He my was great at that. Yeah. He was he, but 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 his his vision, his yeah. vision made him what he was. Man, it was poetry in motion with him running. Yeah. So obviously, that's what you want to. We know Mixon can do that. So right. we, you know, it's like yeah, it's unfortunate that he's hurt, but we need to see if Dame can step this game up and get out there and and really pay attention to how this offensive line is flowing and hit those holes and have that vision in order to to do this man so because um, if not because if not Dar- <laughs> right there i, I, I love rooting for I, dog, man. I love i love rooting for I'm a third you. stringer you know what i'm saying especially when they show out a little bit they give you a little flash in the pan you know from the first game he had a pretty good couple yeah. of runs He's yeah, an easy yeah. guy to root for too, man, because we all remember Dari Gumbawale from kicking the field goal, coming yeah. up clutch when we needed him the most, man. I know, bro. They literally went on the sideline and was like, "Can any of y'all, can any of y'all niggas kick?" He was like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I'll go." <laughs> <laughs> what a story! And he, you yeah. could tell he was having fun, man. So it's easy to root for him. It's easy to want to want to see him excel, bro. So. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you, man. But realistically, you know, we want we want Dame. They gonna they gonna give Dame a leash to yeah. to get out there and do his thing. So we need him to just be great. We need him to yeah, be great. Definitely. So, 
Um, defensive side, Omar. I know, I know, I know you love the D. You love that D. I'm, I'm, I'm um, a D guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a D guy. Heavy on the D. Big D guy. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you better really? hope that the internet don't internet on, on that with that with, with that somebody, clip. <laughs> somebody had chuck. Listen, we're not that important yet, right? Like we're we're not right. we're not that you, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if we had you know di- different different uh audience uh size, y'all help us, know, y'all, y'all subscribe, y'all yeah, subscribe yeah. So, 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 so this can get up and <laughs> somebody can take that clip. Oh shit, yeah, that'd be funny. Uh yeah, man. So from the defensive side, we're not walking in there too pretty either. I mean, obviously, Will Anderson is our returning reigning re- defensive rookie of the year. Yeah. Uh again, he, I, I put him in that same category as the digs, as the mixins, right? We know what the kid can do, right? There's no sense in getting him out there. Uh, maybe for a couple of uh of, of reps if he was healthy. You know, one or two, uh, a series or two, and then bring them back so. and put them in street clothes after the, uh, you know, midway through the first quarter. Um, let some of these younger guys get out there. Let let Barnett get out there. Let Davis get out there and and, and get some shine and see how they see how they react to uh you know to continued game speed and and you know. But there's there's really it just again logic will tell you there's no sense in running that kid out there. We know he's a stud. We know he's a star. Uh, and and let's see what some of these other guys can do. Um, Chris Harris see, uh, is also hurt. Yeah, so that one's going to be interesting. That, that middle linebacker up. position is going to be up and. I'm down. excited. I'm very excited, Omar. To to even if it's just for a series, bro. I'm very excited to see Aziz Ashair do his thing, bro. They, I mean, this is this is essentially the captain of the defense, right? He is. So? The 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 you 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 might as well say it's a a, a mini version of D'Amico Ryan's bro mm. like that's his guy he went out and got him he's gonna call the D you know I, I'm excited to see what he's gonna do because we haven't seen him he's a, he's a new guy right. I'm right. also excited to see Daniel Hunter get after you know get after uh, Justin Fields out there for a little bit man that's gonna be fun yep. um we gonna we got to we got to check out what uh, Mario Edwards Jr. is gonna be able to do, man. Obviously, um, he's essentially the guy that's filling the role for the suspended uh, Danico Autry, man. So, you know, it's, it's it's a lot of stuff to pay attention to, man. I think the most disappointing thing is we're assuming, uh, but I think we can assume correctly that we're not gonna see Mister Lockdown, Mister Kamari Lassiter. Mister Lassiter, and that was. Yeah, that was that was something that I was looking forward to, man. But mm-hmm. unfortunately, the the injury bugs caught him. But I, I is man, he in I that wanted, same soft tissue that. thing? Um, you know that's a good question, man. I, th- I, I thought believe he was. so. I believe so, but I don't want to. I don't want to one hundred percent speak incorrectly because um, people are very quick to call us out when we say the wrong shit. That's rightfully okay. so, like you should. Rightfully uh, so. Yeah, rightfully so. Uh Kamari Lasseter, you know, is, is a is a white guy, obviously, uh very pasty. Uh <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just trying to throw yeah, it out there so people very, can get it fucking out Very pasty white yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Announced Monday the start so, will Steve Lasser. Uh should we tell da, 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 da. Yeah, not Good not hundred percent sure on, on yeah. his injury, man. But in any case, we're not going to see him out there for the game tonight, unfortunately. Um, and that was somebody that I was looking forward to seeing, man. But um, all in all, it should be a fun game. If you're kind of new, you know, if you're watching this, man, and you're kind of new to the fandom of the Texans, man, if you if you started watching and really paying attention to football, like last year, the Texans specifically because of the way that CJ Stroud ball, you know, sometimes I got to take this in cons- into consideration, Omar. Right. We got a new, uh, a whole new batch of fans coming over. Maybe right. Most, of, people, most maybe. of them ex Cowboys fans, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you may not be 100% kind of keyed in on to how like the preseason works or like what the norms are. For preseason and things like that, right? Like us, man, we veterans, we know how this thing right. goes. We know during the preseason, 
typically you, you're just going to see the starters for like a series or two. Like I said, right. the coaches just kind of want to see, do you have a communication right? Can you get in game reps against guys that aren't your teammates, against guys right. that haven't been used to your tendencies for the last – three, four weeks, you know, get right. another, get some competition against a different team. But yeah. if you're expecting to turn on the game tonight and see CJ Stroud for a whole four quarters, well, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're not, you're not going to see that, man. So um, you have to tune looks, in at check at, at kickoff, right? I mean, like you, you have to be watching yeah. the beginning of the game, right? If you, it, you know, I think kickoffs at what? Six o'clock, 6 p.m., something like that. Yeah. So if kickoffs at 6 p.m. If you turn if you turn on the TV, and let's say kickoffs at 6 p.m. Texans are receiving the ball. If you turn on the TV at 6:30, sorry, buddy, you, you, you missed yeah. you missed the window, right? Because yeah. if we get the ball first, if we receive the ball on the kickoff, maybe a series, maybe two. Depending, yeah. Like CJ, said, if right? CJ run the series like like Davis Mills did in the Hall of Fame game, then right. Hey, you by the time you turn it. on the, the TV, <laughs> yeah. yeah, CJ gonna be dressed like us, <laughs> right? Now, you know, <laughs> exactly. so yeah, exactly. So yeah, definitely tune in on time uh, for these next two games, because uh, yeah, and and then I think in the next next week's game, which will be technically preseason game number three, right? They might have them out there for maybe three or four right a little and bit then, more yeah and then may- maybe even the entire first quarter who knows right like that's just yeah you know it ramp, and then it, obviously it the up. yeah they start ramping things up and then obviously because then that then they start making cuts right i mean yeah. they're, they're going to start making cuts that's another thing we need to start thinking about too is that as one of the reasons why this game is so important is because the first round of cuts is coming it's, it's around yeah. the corner, right? They have to trim this thing down to a certain number. I forget what that number is. And then after that, they got another round of cuts after the third game. And then they have to submit their final roster, you know? So yep, it's going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, so that's essentially what you're going to be watching, right? You yeah. know, we know what our guys can do. We know what our starters can do. You just want to get those, like, few little reps in against you know another team's uh starting uh, you know starting defense and starting offense yeah yep. after that man these coaches are really keen in on the depth you know we, we we talk about this a lot on this channel for right now because hey guess what this is the time to talk about it it's right. training camp this preseason once we get in season man we're gonna be breaking down a lot about our starters and about right. the guys that are really making this team go but for right now, man, this is essentially a competition. This is a competition right. to see who's going to make this team. So, man, if you got favorite players like us, we're high on Dari Gumbuale. You know, right. if you're rooting for a certain guy, if you're like, oh, I, I think Xavier Hutchinson is cute, man. I can, I, I like his, the way his butt look when he run. Then Pause. you're going to want to pay in. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you gonna want to pay attention to these games? Yeah, we're you know, get, really, you know, it really. If, if, this, if this podcast ever takes off like we expect for it to take off, bro, we gotta somebody... we gotta include the LGBT community. <laughs> oh, that's, like, you not... know what? It is twenty twenty four, bro. You're right. Absolutely, right. absolutely. Right. We inc- very inclusive here, man. That's true. That's true. You're right. You're <laughs> that's right. why we root for when we talk about Caleb Williams so much, man. We're very inclusive. Yeah, that's true. All walks yeah. of life, man. Yeah, and we, yeah, yeah. we 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 accept any and everyone. So. <laughs> Unless you ain't putting up stats, if you ain't putting up stats, bro, that I don't care what you do in your, I don't care what you do in your personal time. Put up stats, man. You Put know what I mean? Stats. That's yeah. all I care about. You know, we'll see. D- we Diggs, can... Diggs is out there at the fashion shows and all this other stuff. Hey, look, I don't care about that, man. Put put up put up numbers, put up young stat. man. You know he gonna put up numbers. I ain't, That's what I'm I talking about. That's that, why I ain't bro. even worried about it. Yeah, but I ain't worried I'll tell you about what, that, though, bro. if you if you root for an organization where your quarterback paints his nails and all that stuff, and he's he's out there. You know, giving giving neck massages to the center, you know, to 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 the linemen and stuff like that. That's hey, look here, man. Oh man, I can't. I can't. He ain't, but the thing is, he ain't put up a stat yet, right? He's a rookie. He ain't put up so a stat. Rude. Yeah, he ain't put up a stat I, yet, bro. That's what I, was, I can't wait to see him like cry after a loss, bro. Like that's gonna be incredible. Hey, yo, hey, but hey, but on the flip side though, what if homie goes out there and, like throws for like, you know, four touchdowns, no interceptions and shit, and he hey. just falls out. I'm gonna have to eat my words. Like three feet, three hundred fifty yards, yeah. four touchdowns. Have, that, yo, 
Yeah. <laughs> I have to eat the humble pie. I have, I have to eat the nail yeah. black. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the day, boy. Oh man, that should man, be me, like let, that should be me, a bet that we do against the Chicago fan, right? Like you if, know if we what? lose that game week two, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go get our nails painted. Yo, all right. We so, gotta so those of you that are listening, those of you that are listening, if you are aware of somebody that is a that is a die, and, and there's got to be one because the Bears have been around for centuries, right? For 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 yeah. decades. If you guys know a die in the wool, uh. Chicago Bears fan that does a podcast or, or 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 content similar to what we do in our format, and you know is upbeat and all that kind of stuff. Tag them, send them our way, and we'll for see sure. if we can't if we can't get something like that set up. But um, that's the only reason it started. I don't have nothing against it. the brother, but <laughs> that's the only the only reason I have so much hate against him in the first place is because some some Bears fan came in here and attacked the comment section yeah i remember that defending him you know and i'm like yeah. you, you know he got the sassy soldiers out here attacking him you know beyonce got the beehive caleb got the sassy soldiers coming at us bro so yeah. if you if you're a sassy soldier we only want the sassiest of the sass yeah, yeah. come on come on man you are more than welcome to get on here and defend your man that's right. The thin joke, man. <laughs> hey, you remember that? Uh, you remember that that fifty cents get Jeffrey Atkins? Yeah. <laughs> ain't never hurt nobody. Bro, <laughs> is there a more ruthless? But you don't want to pick a fight with fifty, bro. He no, is, you don't. He's petty. He's petty he and he's wealthy. <laughs> he's wealthy and he's petty. That's, yeah, that's the, that's a the bunch of time on his hands. So much time on his money. hands. So much Dude, money on his hands. <laughs> and just just petty and vindictive. It's that's a that's a horrible combination. Before it, before we wrap up, I want to, I was I was telling you if you had seen uh the the new the new show. So we'll wrap up with this. Um you know, you, you're obviously familiar with Hard Knocks, right? It's one of the greatest shows, football shows on HBO. When they used to do, they did one on the Texans, which was great. We we all watched that and I really enjoyed yeah. watching all those shows because it you know, it kind of takes you through each individual step of the season and cuts as cuts are being made and things like that. It's very dramatic because you you start to fall in love with these guys and their stories and things like that. And then all of a sudden they get cut. It's come, becomes what a was the name? Uh, uh, Charles Charles James. Man, he became a star, big time uh, off, yeah. the, off the hard knocks, bro. Everybody fell in love with him. He was he was yeah. you know one of those fringe guys right, that got exactly. a lot of love from from right. that hard knocks. Yeah, that, that's old buddy with the rocks, right? With the stones or something like that. He, <laughs> Did he, he have he, rocks? Like, yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, I was I was asking you before we before we started recording if you had seen the latest video that the Texans put up on their Texans YouTube channel. They sure, have a show I, I now. They have okay. a show now that's very much in the style of Hard Knocks. That's dope. for week one, and it's called Sharp Iron Sharpens Iron. Oh, okay. So shout them out, bro. The is, what is that on? Is that on it's, it's Texans? just Houston Texans? The I mean, Texans yeah, you go, YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, it's on the it's on there, it's on there. You I'll we'll link it down below. We'll link the first episode down below. It was really good. It starts off with Will Anderson out in okay. out in uh I think he was out in Georgia, and it just walks through a bunch of stuff, man. They got they got uh you know, just it's it's very much in the same it's in the same format as the hard knocks episodes. That's dope. um yeah, and it was pretty cool. They 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 went through uh, Andre Johnson's uh, um, uh, inducting ceremony, and uh, they had clips from the uh, from the first preseason game, the Hall of Fame game, and then uh, some clips of training camp and stuff like that. Uh, is so this going this going to be an ongoing thing? I do, I, I sure hope so, because 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 th this episode took us from OTA uh, like like guys' personal time to yeah. OTAs. To the first game and then training like training camps and then the first hall of fame game and then it ended right like the cliffhanger was andre johnson about to reveal his hall of fame bust so i I, so I gotta cool. assume that next the next the next yeah. episode is gonna be next week sometime that it's gonna encompass from that point all the way up until they start this next uh, today's game right that's fine so man. i don't know I'm, I'm i'm certainly hoping so but it's very much in the same format as yeah. the hard knocks episodes, which is pretty cool. I Man, I, that, that, I watched the whole thing. Radar. Was great. I, I watched yeah, the whole that, thing. I highly recommend it. Go take a look. Yeah, at I'm a, I'm gonna definitely check that out, man, as soon as possible. If you like me, I don't know how that flew under my radar. I'm busy trying to be a 
a great journalist for you guys, man, and, and try, to, try, to, <laughs> yeah. try to get this out for y'all, man. But, but if you like me and you like to just bathe in this Texan shit, uh, yeah, yeah uh, take all to my fair, for it, man. To, to, to be fair, and I'll give you some, I'll give you some runway and some credit. Uh, it just released maybe like four hours ago. The first oh, okay. episode okay. just dropped like a couple hours ago before we recorded. Gotcha. Right? Okay, so, okay, okay. Obviously, you guys are watching this Friday morning, Friday afternoon, or whatever. Pr- yeah, we don't, we don't. We're the worst. We're gonna get better with this, man. We try to we <laughs> we try to be as good as we can, but we obviously shoot this uh before. That's why we keep slipping up like the games tomorrow, oh, yeah, games yeah, 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 tonight, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. Listen that. Yeah. Uh we'll <laughs> tighten it up. We'll tighten it up. We'll no, man, that's that's funny that you mentioned that, bro, because I was I was just thinking they're doing a lot of different things with those um those telecasts and like the hard knocks type mm. things. I think they were following the off season of the giants. And I think they're doing the training camp for the bears. So we get to see Caleb uh, Williams and all this glory. And then they're doing another team uh, in season. So my mind got, I was like, yeah, I was like, bro, eventually, eventually I was just thinking this earlier today, bro. I was like, eventually they're going to do it for all 32 teams. You know, so, I think yeah. that fans are going to be able to just tune in to, their own hard knocks for their, their, their yeah. for their own team. Yeah. Listen, and any, this, any, this may be this may be it. What yeah. You, any any, any respecting any 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 respecting content content uh social media manager that works for these organizations is gonna want to do something like that. Right. I mean you're talking yeah just the level of engagement from a fan standpoint that you're gonna get giving them an inside track on what's going on da 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 this that and other you know what I mean like that's always sure. uh, you know it's always good. And shout out to to them because this this wasn't always something that that coaches, front office guys, even players were so keen on. You know they, right. you know, it's Bill era, bro. hated that shit when he went. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine uh, Belichick. Bel- oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> you would never be able to go in there with him, deflating <laughs> the damn bro. balls and catching him with the video camera and doing all kind of weird shit. You know, Hoodie would never play that shit. No nah, man, so a lot more yeah. access, and it's cool. I mean, I mean, the Netflix series, the the quarterbacks was great. I that haven't watched great, the the new receiver one, but I, I have I've to heard check that out. Too. I need to look it up. We like access, man. Yeah, we like full access. If the players had OnlyFans, Omar would definitely subscribe. Yo. And uh, we- <laughs> if their wives have OnlyFans, I'm all in. Yeah, you know the you know the players got some baddies. You know Ooh. they got. You know. All right. You know, you they, give me that, that, that might yeah, that might have to be another episode. We're gonna pull up every wife of uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a top 10 for you right there. That's a, <laughs> now we're wife, talking. Baby. That's that's gonna entice the players to want to come on here and bitch us oh, out. That's right. <laughs> They're gonna be like the I fuck is it. bull run sports. Yeah, yeah. And why are they showing pictures of my wife? Yeah, well, that's my wife. That's my what? Wife. Well, hold on, hold on a second. Why are they rank her eight? <laughs> we think they mad. They come on and plead their case for their wife. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. You, you got to bump her up, bro. She's a great cook, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, folks. That's going to do it for us tonight. We appreciate you guys yes, watching sir. as always, man. You guys have been great. Remember, comment below. Let us know uh, what you want to see, and and we'll uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Hopefully, the Texans get a dub tonight. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Show me your shirt one more time, bro. That shit, that shit hidden, dog. Sir, that shit looks amazing. All right, y'all. Well, Peace. We'll, we'll holler at y'all in the live stream. Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll holler at y'all the live stream. All right. Later. Love y'all. Peace.